Hey guys, welcome back to Eric Reactions. We're gonna get started with Tress's story this time, Tress's chapter two. So we're definitely under leveled, but that'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna hear. Oh, we have to add her to our party first. Okay. So Tressa. Okay, I'm trying to find a balanced party. I need. I kind of need Cyrus though, just because he's able to detect enemy weaknesses, and he does so much damage. Uh, on the other hand, I still want to keep this level somewhat balanced. So maybe not. You know what? Forget it. Uh, we need him to make sure we don't die. Yeah, we need him to make sure we don't die. Should we do Olberic or Hanit? Or we don't have a healer, so maybe Ophelia. Yeah, she's not the strongest, but we need a healer. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, uh... I kind of want to heal first, but let's just actually get started. Tressa's Chapter 2. Following in the footsteps of the nameless author, you find yourself in a quarry quest... Qu in a quarry... Quarry... That, hard, that name is so hard to pronounce. Quarry Crest. Very different than the one he described. Your search for be business begins here. Let's go. Hi, Tressa! The story so far, spurred on by a curious notebook she acquired, Tressa set forth on a journey. Now she follows in the footsteps of the anonymous author in hopes of seeing the world and all the treasures it holds. Right, so she got the journal last time from the captain of, uh, who docked in her village. And she's off to explore the world as a traveling merchant. Now where did I leave off? Every journey is a vast sea of opportunities, but none are so quite so precious as encounters with others. Sharing a connection with someone new forever, however brief a time is unforgettable. Eh, maybe. For it is a chance to learn about others and yourself. I'll rest here tonight in Quarry Crest. Rumor has it there is gold in these hills, and many a prospector has set their eye on it. I wonder what encounters might await me here. Uh, await me here. Exciting! Mmm. Ah, uh, Tressa's such a cutie. This must be Quarry Crest. Town is bustling. Could there really be gold here? Eureka! I found gold. Gold! I've struck gold! Now this is something to write home about. Where there's one, there's more, and I'll find them all. <laughs> not if I find them first. So they're not working together as a group. They're individually trying to get their own gold. I guess there really is gold in dar these Dar Hills. These Dar Hills, Tressa? Uh, something tells me this may be a good place to set up shop. Wait, because she's going to sell to people? Stay your hands. It's Mr. Morlock? Who's Mr. Morlock? All toiling so earnestly. Who's this Mr. Morlock? <laughs> Sir, real gold. How much do you reckon it's worth? He's gonna underbid them. Mm. Let me see that beautiful nugget. Hmm. I'd be happy to take it off your hands for a reasonable sum. I'll say it once more, so listen well. Omar, this mine and all the land surrounding it is the sole property of the esteemed Mr. Morlock. As such, any and all gold discovered here is his by right. What? But fortunately for you, Mr. Morlock is a generous man, and he'll buy the gold off anyone who finds it. So keep digging, and you may find yourselves with riches beyond measure. That doesn't sound right. He's claiming that he owns the entire place, but he still says he'll pay other people. That's just a way to, like, make the prices go down. It's like, this is mine, technically mine anyway, I'm just giving you a chance to sell it to me. That's something feels wrong. He's just, he's looks like this Morlock fellow has an iron grip on his mind. So yeah, I guess another part of it could be just that he doesn't want the gold to go somewhere else, but still doesn't feel just right just yet. Guess that means I won't be dealing in gold here. I guess not. 
but still... My merchant senses tell me this town presents a lucrative business opportunity. Yay, go Tressa. I'm rooting for her. Whoa, question mark, question mark, question mark. Who's that? Look around town. Alright. I mean, there's a place... It shows me where I'm supposed to go, so I'm gonna go there. I dig and dig and dig and still can't find any gold. Curse my luck, I thought this would be my chance to turn it all around. I was such a fool, I even borrowed money to get this far. How can I ever face my wife again? Yikes. He went without discussing it with his wife? Or... Like... What's that? What's what? Excuse me, sir, I'll buy these stones from you. Really? You will? Okay. What is this about? Nondescript stones, why would she want them? A dull stone, it gives off a bright shine when polished properly. Huh. She's got... You have use of my goods? Bless you. Always looking for a bargain. She's got a discerning eye, so maybe... I, can, I can't sell you to these in good conscience, miss. They're just lousy rocks. You sure about that? <laughs> but I insist. I'm a merchant, and I feel like there's more to these than meets the eye. She has a very good eye, so I trust her. In that case, they're all yours. Thank you kindly. I feel like we just committed highway robbery on this guy. I knew it. Did she just, like, clean it up? Underneath that grimy exterior was a gorgeous gem just waiting to be discovered. Oh, wow. I think she just gypped that guy, like, really, really hard. You've quite the eye, young lady. Huh? Pardon? Is this a... Okay, who is this? We saw her before. Her? Oh, she's got... It's the same thing. Oh. Those are the same stones that I bought. <laughs> I don't know if it's a she or he. Right you are. I'm a traveling merchant. Ali is the name. Ali might be a male name, just from... Prince Tressa. Ali! Da, 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 da. Tressa, I'm a traveling merchant too. I've never seen stones like that glow quite like these. They look just like ordinary rocks at first, but it'll take more than a fool. More than that to fool me. Tressa's so happy with herself. <laughs> you have no idea what you bought, do you? Um, uh, should I? Indeed. They are sky stones. They're rare, but you can find them if you know where to look. At first, they're perfectly unremarkable rocks, but apply some quality elbow grease. And... You have yourself a gorgeous gemstone. No way! I had no idea. So are they rare enough that they're worth something? <laughs> and still you bought all those stones? Heck of a green pea you are. What? Hey, green pea! Her. See you around. Well, keep the good work. See you around, green pea. Wow, that is not a... A nickname she'll like. I think... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I get into the characters' minds. I like, start acting and reacting like the characters. When I'm playing as through their chapters. Green Pea? He's just a mean pea. <laughs> oh, trust is... Trust is great. He's a mean pea. <laughs> but I don't have time for that now. I have stones that need selling. But uh, maybe this isn't the best place to sell them. These guys are desperate for gold. A lot of people are migrant workers coming in. So... Right yeah, I wouldn't sell it here, Tressa. Come one, come all. But the first, be the first to get your hands on one of the rarest treasures in the realm. Oh. Gold? No. <laughs> nope, it's better than gold. Now feast your eyes on this, the Shimmering Skystone. Gasp. Oh. Oh my! She actually gonna make some money off this? Look how it sparkles! Oh, this isn't gonna be good. The Morlock is gonna be mad. Like he's—they're upsetting the economy in this place. Let me see. And he's also gonna say that this belongs to him too. Quite the beauty, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely breathtaking. But did you know the Skystone's radiance is surpassed only by its rarity? I don't know, he did a little twirl and dance. 
So if you'd like one of your own, this might be your only chance. Yeah, Morlock is not gonna... I'll take one. Without knowing the price? Me too. Tress is so, so cute. Uh, so yeah, but Morlock is definitely not gonna be okay with this. Morlock. And they're all gone. She's like about the shock face. I love that shock face. It's so cute. Those feelings, those stones practically sold themselves. This place really is good for business. Time to stock up the shop. So we're gonna be after more sky stones. 1500, that's it. Travel banter. What is that? Why, I'll be. Oh wow, we get to talk between characters? That's awesome. I was hoping for some interactions with between characters. This is great. A Skystone, eh? A significant discovery, to be sure. Do you know much about Skystone, Professor Albright? I dare say I've read a book or two about them. I can say they're I can say that they I can say they are a type of ore. But I failed to recognize the stone for what it was, even when put before me. But your eyes saw true. Perhaps it is your merchant's instinct at work. Maybe. Honestly, I wasn't certain those rocks were so valuable. But in trade, good opportunities don't come by every day. So you just have to roll the dice when you see one. Indubitably. I must confess, I was quite impressed at the way you managed to sell all those stones. Seeing the potential for trade in every part of life, you are a true merchant's merchant. It's a clever game you play, Tressa. I hope you see more of it. It's a deal, Professor. Oh, that's so cool. Does it depend on who's in my party, though? Because I don't want to miss any of the character interactions. They're really fun. Um, yeah, let's go back up to Morlock. Or not Morlock. Let's go back up to the mines to get more. I thought we'd make more than 1,500, honestly. I'm going to go to the pub. Uh... Yeah, it doesn't- there's no way to... Is she stuck? No, she's not! How is she not stuck? Okay, once you take her out, yeah. So I had Cyrus and Hannet, I believe. Let's put in... Uh, Alfin and Ophelia, Let's see if there's any new banter. No... Alright, how about Therian and Alberic? Aww. Oh. Okay. So let's switch back to our original Osiris and who? Ophelia for healing, right? I was hoping for more character interactions. That, that one was fun, but uh, I really want more. I'm feeling greedy. I want those. They're, they're so much fun to read. Alright, we got three areas. Oh, we're buying them from them. Interesting. Nondescript stone. Haggling. Successful. Cool. Always looking for a bargain. So we buy it from miners who don't know any better. So if we buy it for 500 and sell it for 1500. Another nondescript stone. Could I technically just get Therian and have him steal all of them? That'd be pretty mean, though. Nondescript stone. Are you the one buying up all these stones? Why do you want them? Always looking for a bargain. Alright, making our way back. This time, I feel like Morlock's gonna catch on. Something's gonna go on right here. Let's see what happens. They're not that rare if you were able to find so much in such a short time. Oh. Oh, hi. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around and prepare yourselves for a breathtaking sight. This, my friends, is the one and only Sparkle Shining Sky Stone. Is Ali doing this on purpose? His look bigger. Uh, he might be doing this on purpose, or he genuinely doesn't know that they're for sale. Right next to him. Probably not. 
You can be the proud owner of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prizes. Wow. What? Jerk. Uh, I mean, this is the free market. What a dirty trick. Setting up shop right next to me? I won't go down without a fight. They're just going to lower the prices so much that neither of them can make a profit. They certainly are beautiful. But what makes your stones different from hers? Uh, you can buy pure sky stones anywhere. Just look. How? How can you get purer ones? You can see all the way not a single blemish or impurity to be found. That seems suspicious. Very suspicious. Dazzling, is it not, milady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. Oh, please. Well, wow. Wow. Resorting to cheap flattery. Does he have no shame? You gotta be, what, smiley, mannerly, and early to be a good merchant. I guess being flattery. Do you have a talk, my good sir? Flattery works as well. That doll's a wonderful thing, no? A precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. He's a good merchant, I'll give him that. She's got a lot to learn, so hopefully she'll learn from him. <clears throat> ah, clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. <laughs> Do you truly believe that doll will suffice? Wow. The Sky Stone is as pure, innocent, and beautiful as a daughter's love. This guy's good. <laughs> Every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember her dear father who gave it to her. Ooh, he's preying on his emotions too. This is really, he's, he's great. Its light will connect her to you, no matter how far he may travel. And now he's putting on a voice. Dear father, when will you come home? Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. Sure. I can just see her smiling face now. So when you're trying to sell something, you're trying to sell them sell people on the emotion they'll feel when they buy it or when they have it. And he's a master at that. Pleasant young man. Yeah, I'll take one. Just one. Most welcome, my good sir. Uh, what? Come on, Tressa, step up your game. Step right up. There's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. They're not that rare if you can have so many. You can find them anywhere else. I promise. Won't be disappointed. You can find them on Tressa's side, but she's not being a great merchant right now. I'll take one, please. One for me too. Thank you. Thank you. Murgurger. Murgurger. Oh my God, that's actually from uh, Bravely Default. Murgurger. I forgot who says it. I think Adia. Murgurger. Uh, what a great noise. Woo, would you look at that? Business is booming. Okay, you don't need to rub it in her face. Booming. Aw, poor Tressa. Well, maybe not for all of us. Stop rubbing it in her face. You win this round. She is a little bit of a green pea, and he's a bit of a mean pea. There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. Murgurger. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. Yeah, that's what you get for staying in the rule title Practice this time. Makes perfect. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heartstrings and loosen purse strings. But being a merchant is about more than just making a sale. Ooh, she's got her own ideals. This is nice. I, I like I like this where this is going. A merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. I think it's both. You can't have just one or the other. What I sell may not be what they need. It is what they want. What's wrong with a little mm. embellishment? Embellishment? A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. All right. Mm. 
You know? <laughs> oh, Tressa. She's got hands on her hips, all mad. Look around town. Ooh, more travel banter. With Primrose. Grrr. I hate losing. It's so, so aggravating. But you haven't lost. Not yet. I've been standing by you from the beginning. And I know this isn't over yet. This is just a bump in the road. Huh? Look, you can't stomp off the stage over one mistake. You have to push on. Fortune favors the brave and the persistent. What's gotten all into you all of a sudden, Primrose? Never mind that. Time to start afresh. Stock up new supplies. There's a world of deals waiting to be made. Yes, ma'am. Wow, talking about a rousing pep talk. Yeah, Primrose really knows what she's doing with that. Ooh, more travel banter. Oh, and it, it goes with uh, people not even... Wait. I think Ophelia is in our party, actually. So, never mind. This Ali fellow seems rather good at this. Grr, I can't believe he got away with that. I must confess, I've never met anyone so smooth of tongue. In a way, it's hard not to admire him. Ophelia, whose side are you on anyway? What? But yours, of course. This isn't over. I swear I'll make one more coin than him before we're through. Make more coin than him. Just so, and I shall offer a blessing for your success. Do you think I need to practice my sales pitch? You mean to be more persuasive like Ali? No, not exactly like him exactly, but if I did practice, maybe I'd be better at selling things. Er, well, I suppose it could have been practice that makes him sound so clever. Exactly, so all I need to do is practice more. In fact, I'll start right now. You'll pretend to be the customer, alright? Wait, what? Aw, that's cute. Ophelia's in my party, right? So, yeah, I think our character interactions are just from the people in our party. Which is a real bummer, because I want to see all of them. Um, yeah, I want to see interactions with everybody, even people who are not in our party. I hope they're not missable, because... I wish they would show up in the tavern, though. Uh, yeah, I don't think. That sucks. I want to hear all of the... I want to hear more interactions. Oh well. Uh, come on, let's go. So hungry. But after that miserable show, I need to save my money. I love it. Your finest meese ball, sir. Aww. Well, if it isn't the green pea, you're looking famished. Is he gonna be nice? I take it you're on a t Oh, he gave her some. That's nice. I should get her on your butt tight budget now. <laughs> Keep it. She's too proud. Keep it. I refuse to take pity pool f pity food from a rival. Oh, all right. S suit yourself. <laughs> Why'd you take up this line of work anyway? You see... Both my parents are merchants, so I guess it just came naturally. And now I'm wandering the world and learning the trade as I go. Well, well. You don't say. My old man's a merchant, too. In the south, everyone and their uncles heard of Mar Maruf the merchant. He was a, such a smooth talker, he could sell sand in the desert. But he never once told a lie. Ooh. With just a few words, my dad could get anyone to buy what he was selling and make them feel genuinely happy about their purchase. It was like magic. His words had incredible power, one that could help people see the beauty in the things they purchased. And then... So I decided to follow in my old man's footsteps. Really? Did you take up the family business? Probably not. Probably wanted to make a name for himself. No. Ran away from home. What? I spared the details. That's just how things played out. It wasn't so different for me, you know. You don't say. Now then. Well, I've got another busy day ahead of me. Better luck tomorrow, eh? Yeah. Same to you, and may the best merchant win. 
Aww. She's making friends. Oh, and here's Morlock. What's up? <clears throat> you seem to be doing well for yourself. Illegal though your business may be. Oh, this is what... Uh, and who are you? He doesn't know these people? Watch your tone, boy. Mr. Morlock owns this establishment, as well as everything else in this town. That I will certainly do. That's great and all, but what do you mean, illegal? You may own all the gold, but these were just dusty old rocks until I polished them, polished them to a sheen. That pompous attitude will get you in trouble someday, boy. As low owner here, Mr. Morlock has the right to oversee any and all business transaction he so desires. As of now, that includes the trading of your little rocks. What made him the owner of everything, though? I'm guessing he didn't... I guess he just claimed it was his. Does it now? That seems awfully arbitrary, if you ask me. Agree. But that wouldn't be the first foul thing to happen here. Or weren't you aware, Mr. Morlock? You see, the price of gold actually. is actually ten times what you're giving to miners. <gasps> of course it is. Ali. Maybe this isn't the time. This is the only time. This is exactly the time. They're deceiving honest, hard-working people just to line their pockets. On my honor as a merchant, I won't stand for it. Oof. Teach this little desert ant what happens to pests who try to stain my good name. Ready to be squished, boy? I'd like to see you try. Uh... I'm stronger than I look, and I'm well versed in all the martial arts. All of them? I like this music, but uh, I think he's about to get his butt kicked. Ali, the one man army they call me in the south. The mere mention of my name strikes fear into the hearts of any who would wrong the common man. I've killed more people than I can count, and all with one hand. I, I think he's it's exaggerating. Then you'll make a fine opponent. And he's down. The one-man army? A merchant's weapon is his words. We don't stand a chance on a real battlefield. <laughs> uh, my fight was lost the instant we came to blows. That's funny. Oh, no. I trust you've learned your lesson, Ant. Looks like your wares aren't selling so well. Don't worry, I'll take them off your hands. What? What? I thought he was going to take it off of... Ali, these stones belong to me, do you understand? If you're so determined to have them, though, I'll let you be my little worker, Ant. I'll be in my manor. Come find me if you want a real job. <laughs> Wait, they're dragging him off? Wow, okay. I can't believe that man. How dare he advantage, take advantage of people to line his own pockets. That's just dirty. Hey guys, guess what? It happens all the time in real life. Ali. I might not agree with everything he does. But I agree with what he said to Morlock. Let's save him. Even if he couldn't have been more diplomatic about it. <laughs> he's, he's still mad at him. <laughs> I have to save him. Morlock said he'd be in his manor, it's time to pay him a visit. Alright. We lost three Sky Stones, obtained 500. I don't know how we obtained 500. Let's see. Is there a place we can. These are all just, um. Yeah, these are all for... These aren't the side quests, unsad uns uh, sadly. Not side quests. These aren't the like side conversations between her and other people. I like how their characters like do a little flair when they... when I choose them. And what is this? We're like... More than 10 hours into this game. I've played a lot more than just the 9 hours. And we still haven't unlocked this menu. 
very curious as to what that is. Ooh, I almost have her last support skill. I wonder what happens once we get everybody's skills, though. Uh, revive. Augment one allies, elemental defense. This is revive all allies. Let's do this. Evil ward. Set more elemental defense. Increase the party success rate when it's... Oh, yes. Thank you. Attempting to flee. Okay. Alright, let's continue. This chapter feels long. I think we've been at it for a while. But... Oh, the... It's actually pretty far away. There's another map in between. Can we go north? Is there a treasure chest or something here? Or just this crane that does nothing? Let's go south for a second. Here we go. Healing Great Medium. I probably should be fighting more of these things to gain some levels. I can't actually break this armadillo guy that easily. This is gonna be trouble. Yeah, I'm outmatched. Ow. This isn't good. Yeah, I might need to change my party so we have more weapon coverage. Ow. We're just gonna have Cyrus use his strongest magical attacks to hopefully kill them. I might need to go back to town and uh, change up my party. Ow. Heal us, Ophelia. Lightning Blast! Alright, unless we kill two of them, at least. Even Cyrus has a thousand HP. You gonna die yet? I'm actually not gonna kill her. I'm gonna collect from you. 450! Yay! That was pathetic. Sorry, guys. Fireball! Bye bye. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, I'm gonna take Ophelia out, even though she's our healer. Let's go back to town. She keeps picking up money. Awesome. Where's the weapon shop? I think it's also up here, right? Uh, so I take out Ophelia for who? Alberic? I guess so. He's got the most weapon coverage. Actually, 
Hanit has the most weapon coverage. Let's buy some new weapons and see if we can help. Heavy Lance. Magus Glaive. It's too expensive though. Flail. See, this is... It only raises my elemental attack by a little. So I don't... This doesn't feel right yet. Kite... Uh, plate Shield. I think Kite Shield is better. Uh, let's see who our weakest people is, are and uh, try to get it for them. I think Hannon actually has our lowest, the lowest defenses. Here we go, Hannon. And Tiara. Let's see, who would this be good on? We can give Cyrus a little bit more SP, but not much. Yeah, I think we're good, actually. And I'm actually going to switch our equipment back. Uh, I'm going to make Hannon a little overpowered. Here, Hannon, have the Golden Axe. Alright, let's head back. Got a little bit more uh, weapon coverage now. We got bows, axes, um... What's it called? Lances and or spears and swords with Lind and Hanit. I haven't really thought about too much about the party composition. I've just been using whoever has the lowest level. But I'm gonna have to start changing that soon. Let's get that item first. Inspiriting Plum. Another save point already? Oh boy. Letting us hunting. This is more doable. But now we don't have a dedicated healer. I'm ready. I guess she can be the dedicated healer. Just use items on everybody. Hanit. Guess use your axe. Let's take this guy down. Ow. Up, guys. That was still difficult, but much easier than it was before. Alright, we need some plums, and we need some healing grapes. And Luckily, we have a lot of plums, so that's fine. And here we go. Let's save. Is there a treasure chest here? Yes. 
5,000. Alright, let's take this guy down. Danger level 18. But the recommended level is 22. That's interesting. Yay, Tressa just found random gold. Is this like a dead end? We both go up either stairway and then go into these rooms. Okay. Medium healing grape. Empty room. Energizing pomegranate. Is that photos? Uh, that photo. That painting supposed to be Morlock. Okay, that's a dead end. All right, which way are we supposed to go? Because I want to go the wrong way, obviously. Collect all the stuff. Whew. Guard dogs. Fire and daggers. Letting my arrow fly in true. Nice. Good call, Eric. Oh, nice. Boom. All right, some still alive, but we can finish it with Night Ode. She's so cool. That's a lot of experience in JP. All right, just a few more JP and Primrose can get a new support skill. Let's check out these room, this last room. Yep, one more item. Wind Soulstone. Nope. Oh. We just keep finding a lot of money. Let's stay on the lower floor first. Let's see. Refreshing jam. I hope there's no theory in chest, because I don't want to have to come all the way back here. Okay. Yikes. Night ode. Bring your shade. Dang. Uh let me look at their name. Thunder. So maybe they're weak against wind? They're probably weak against wind, right? What about you? You're a sentinel. Just a normal sentinel. Right, I guess I'll just attack you with this. I'm, I, I'm thinking of wind as the opposite of thunder in this game. And I'm right. Alright. Level 20 Tressa. 19 Tressa. Nothing in here, it seems. Oh man, there is a theory in chests. Dang it. I gotta go back and get him. I'll do that off screen, off, uh, not on recording. Okay, let's go this way. Huh, two empty rooms. I guess we're going downstairs again. This mansion's more like a maze than anything. Missed? Oh, that's fine. We can still, still 
Crystal Break. I was just surprised she missed. Nice Cyrus needs some way to restore his SP. And Primrose. We have Primrose last skill unlocked. Panther Dance. In learning the skill, you've learned Encore. And then we have this, a Divine Skill. I guess this unlocks after we've learned everything else. For three turns, skills performed by a single ally that you usually target one foe will affect all foes instead. Huh. That's interesting. That can be really, really powerful. Yeah, that can be really, really powerful. I've just got to find the right way to use it. Let's see what Encore is. Once per battle, upon being incapacitated, you'll recover with 25% of your maximum HP. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. Oh, looks like we're about to come up on the boss, though. Ooh, alright. Let's heal up a little bit, shall we? I do not want to be using any of these items during the battle, so... Alright. Ready or not? Oh, wait. Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start the boss battle next time, actually. I forgot. Totally forgot that uh, I like to do the boss battle separately. And uh, so I'm going to be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to check that out. And I'm going to see you guys soon. Bye, friends.